I come to you, beloved, for in some corners love does not fulfill the law, but rather withholds itself. Do you withhold love because you find in love too much pain? There comes a time, beloved, when you must pass through that pain and into the glories of everlasting life. Yet, until you reach those levels, love is a gift that you give daily and hourly to the universe, to your heart, to the blessed friend, to the beloved, to those who are in need, to those who have never been loved or understood, to children who yet must learn to nestle at their mother's breast. Know then, beloved, that to bring love to this world from the levels of heaven takes a bit of confinement on the part of those of us who are in heaven. Yet we enter, and we enter again, and we look for the day, the moment, and the hour when the Holy Spirit within you shall become so powerful that all of your life and loving will be of that tremendous essence of the sacred fire. All things will come to fruition. All projects will be in line. But if love is not the cement or the healing or the bringing together of community, then where is their eternal life? It is love that brings the infinite ones to your doorstep. We as ascended masters knock, but you do not always answer for you have another agenda, or your hardness of heart does not allow you to open the gates of that inner secret chamber of the heart where you might commune with your holy Christ self. It is so much more important, beloved, to give love than to receive it, that you should not even be concerned about receiving it but always concern that you have given to others enough that they might go another day with their pain and another and another so that you do not leave them until they are strengthened and strengthened again. Each and every one of the Chohans of the Rays would speak to you today of the same concepts of love. Love is the great magnet that draws to you the peace that passes understanding, the geometry that comes from within, the flowers, the fountains. But above all, beloved, remember that love is caring for the children who have no parents, for those who are orphaned, for those whose parents take drugs and use all money they have for that purpose. Children then go hungry. So many go hungry. It is not right, beloved. It is ultimately a sin that is marked upon the chart of your own being. Try then daily to serve others in a very important capacity. The most important ones that you serve, beloved, are the children. If they are to have strong bones and strong constitutions, they must have love, they must have nourishment. In some quarters they receive it, but in many, many areas of the world there is nothing for them, no one that cares. May you realize, beloved, that a part of becoming a love flame to these children, you must have the love flame within your own heart to such an extent that the hardness of heart must melt away, simply melt away for your realization 
of the pain of millions upon earth. Do not judge them, beloved. Perhaps some have done misdeeds, are dark, others are light. It doesn't matter, beloved. Humanity, all of humanity requires nurturing. We are pleased to see the opening in South America of feeding of children. This is a wonderful opportunity that the messenger made known to Chilas in South America when she was there. As these schools are being opened and children are being fed, so there will dawn an age of enlightenment and opportunity for the seventh root race. Let us all then fervently pray in this hour, for I, Therese of Lisieux, truly do desire to see you recognize the plight of the children of the world and not to allow yourselves to leave this octave and take your ascension before you have given liberally of yourself, before you have found ways and means to feed all the children of the world. This can be done, beloved. It truly can be done. Because this is such a tremendous crisis, I ask you to kneel in prayer for the world's children this day that you might identify with their pain. Beloved Mighty I Am Presence, beloved Father, Mother, God, hear our prayer in this hour. We pray to you, Father, Mother, God, to deliver the children of the world, to quicken our hearts, that we might be aware of their pain, that we might truly take action and not simply stand by and say, is this not a terrible thing, what shall we do? Well, we will do what we must do, and that is to care for those who have nothing, absolutely nothing, to see that they, re that they have the proper medications, the proper food, the proper environment, and those who care for them. Let us take care of the poor and the hungry, and let us know that it is our solemn duty to enter in to that equation and not to look the other way and say, how glad I am that I am not among the poor and my children are not among the poor. Well, you may have been in a last life, beloved, and you might have to be there again if you continue to close your eyes to the pain of these children. Thus I, Therese, look to you longingly from the inner recesses of my heart, and I ask you to remember the little ones every day, not only to pray, but to determine to give funds, clothing, etc. We are grateful for all the good that is done, but why should there be a single child on earth who cannot eat at least one good meal a day, if not more. So, beloved, to right the wrongs of a civilization, we must right the wrongs that we have done to the children themselves, for they are helpless. They have a future if we will give it to them. Make this your calling, beloved, for if you... Send a deaf ear to the little child. Will you also send a deaf ear to the Holy Spirit, to the lords of the seven rays, to the Lord and Savior, to his mother? If you press a deaf ear to the child, beloved, then you will also neglect that child. This can be no longer, for it is an imbalance in the entire world. Think upon it 
and think upon the north and southern hemispheres and realize this must be accomplished here and then throughout the world. Let hardness of heart be consumed. Let love return to planet Earth, for love has long gone to other areas as the dark ones with their metallic ages, with their entering in, desiring drugs, desiring money, losing their heart flame, losing even their ability to be human. Indeed, they are no longer human, and the one that turns away a child is no longer human. Let us remember this, for all of us have been in this plight in one embodiment or another. Therefore, I ask you to pray to the Father, Mother, God now to send angelic reinforcements on behalf of the children, as well as food, clothing, medical supplies, hospitals, etc. Please be seated. In closing, then, I would remind you that Mother Teresa of Calcutta, of Calcutta has said, Give until it hurts. Give until it hurts. May you remember her as the messenger has remembered her as the messenger visited Mother Teresa in Calcutta many years ago with Mark Prophet. Thus, beloved, take care of the little children, and in so doing, your names will be in heaven. I am Therese of Lisieux, and I have desired to have all of my heavens on earth. So I am here, and I move in the sphere of heaven amongst you. May you come to know my footstep. May you come to know me in my inner child, in my sainthood, and in the very glory of God through my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I seal you in the heart of your own inner child, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and the Divine Mother.